This is going to be a quick video tutorial to show you how to use the guides in Affinity Publisher. And I'm using version 2. Works pretty much the same in version 1. Uh, with one notable difference. And to see your guides, you go to View, Guides, and in version 1 you will see uh, Guides Manager, I believe, instead of just Guides. But before we go there, I want to show you another way. Another way you can get guides is to go to View Rulers, or Show Rulers, and you can drag down from your ruler, and you can drag your guides in uh, from the top and from the side. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. To get rid of these this way, we can just drag up and drag to the side. Now we're going to go to the Guides Manager here, or the View Guides in version 2. And you'll notice here we have a guides dialog box. So the first thing we're going to do under the horizontal guides dialog box, we're going to just click this little add new horizontal guide. And then we're going to do the same under vertical. And if you'll notice, we got it right in the middle at 50%. And what we can do, we can change this, and it's going to be whatever page temp template you select, whether it's millimeters or inches, what's going to show in your guides box. But we can change this. We can go, let's say, to four inches. Just hit enter, and you'll notice that moved up. And we can do the same for here. We can go two inches and hit enter, and that moved as well. Now we can also. If you want, you could change it to percent like that. And we can go to 25% and 25%. And you, and you notice that it moved into the percentage range. Now, we can also delete guides from this guides manager by just simply clicking remove vertical guide. And it deletes there. You can also, again, you could drag up, get rid of it, but I'm going to bring it back down. And another thing we can do is we can add columns from the columns and row boxes. So let's uh, add four columns and two rows. Hit enter. And we'll notice we now have columns and rows of guides set up. Now if we add the guides to our master pages, let's go back here and put on the guides manager. And let's say four and two. I'll hit enter. We now know when we go click on our any of our pages, all of them have those guides on it. Let's say we wanted to uh, remove the guides from page one because we don't need them. We can go to page one, double click on it, and we can just set this to zero. Hit enter. And it removed it only from that page, except this is the one that I had moved earlier. This wasn't from the dialog box. But from the dialog box, you can remove it by just setting it to, to 1 there. And now, when you click on double-click your front page, you don't have it, but you have them on the other pages. So that's how, how you work with guides, uh, two different ways, in Affinity Publisher version 2. If this has helped you. About leaving a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and you have a good day.